Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. Got a request from one of my subscribers. Um, this one's, I've had this one for a little while. Um, a Ricardo Hernandez wanted me to do a 40 ounce Bud Light. Um, I have not seen a 40 ounce Bud Light. Um, this, that's a 40 ounce bottle. This is a 20, 20 fluid ounce can. Um, it's a fat bottle, tall bottle. Um, but uh, yeah, that'd be, a, that'd be a big old Bud Light right there. <clears throat> but I have not seen one that size, so I hope that the 25 fluid ounce is gonna be good enough. Um, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> haven't had Bud Light in quite some time. Um, there's a lot of people that frown on Bud Light, um, just as they do on Coors Light a lot of times. Um, Bud Light, uh, there's some people that do actually, you know, like this beer. And it's it's like any other beer that, you know, that people, you know, uh, don't, don't like. Uh, and it's, and these kind of beers, like I always say, they all have their own, have their own times of drinking have, you know, have a good, you know, a good purpose um, for certain circumstances or situations or times of the day or during, you know, certain things that you may be doing. Like I always say, you know, working outside, doing stuff around the house. Um, maybe you want a lighter beer. Um, uh, let's see, what is this? It's a 4.2% ABV. It's a low, lower ABV beer. Um, and you know, they're they're refreshing. You know, I can't remember how much flavor this one has. Uh, well, let's find out. Got my little glass here. I'm gonna try to try to get some in here without spilling it. I always like putting in my little glass. You know, some of my beers first to kind of get um, a little bit of a you know example of what kind of color we're dealing with it's a lighter it's a lighter gold lighter maybe straw a little bit um got two finger head it's uh it's a little soapy a little fluffy it's white um a little sudsy not a bad aroma Lightly malty, lightly sweet. I imagine this is probably corn, um, and it may have like what I've been finding out <clears throat> um, here recently that there's probably there might be a little corn syrup involved, but it being lighter beer, there may not be. Um, so. Let's see, it says, you know, hops, always brewing using the choicest hops, best barley, best barley malt, and rice. So, look at there. You know, I, I heart, sometimes I don't even look at the can, um, but uh, I was not expecting there to be rice in here. So, uh, so there's your adjunct, a rice adjunct is what I'm assuming. Um, so let's, uh, let's see what, it, what are they claiming here. This is the famous Bud Light. It's kind of going up into the rim, so I can't read it. Of no brand pro produced by any other brewer, which is brewed and aged to be more refreshing. So they're saying it's refreshing. Um, our beechwood aging process produces a light-bodied lager with a fresh taste, a crisp, clean finish, and a smooth drinkability. Okay. Well, that's pretty decent. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It does have some flavor. It's got the barley malts in there. 
Um, I can't, I don't get any hops. Hops that are used in a lot of these type of things, they're, it may, it may add to the flavor a little bit, but I don't know what to look for in the hops in these type of beers. Um, even craft beers, I don't, I never know. I, I know the, uh, um, the pine, the pine notes in some of the craft beers like the IPAs, um, I can't remember what you, what that what that hop is called. I don't think it's Simcoe. I think that's something else. Anyway, y'all can tell me. Um, so um, yeah, it's uh, it's it tastes good. It's um, it is light bodied. It's refreshing. It's crisp. It's a clean tasting beer. Um, excuse me. It does have a a good drinkability to it. It's a, it would be a good social beer. Um, it being lighter on the taste, it would go good with any meals. Um, light light carbonation burn on it. Um, Yeah, it's good. It's good. For a light beer, it's not... I mean, of course, I've had many, many, many better light beers, but this would be one of those ones that, you know, uh, you get for a change um, to drink it, or have it be an option at parties. Some people want to go with a lighter beer. It being lighter, I would assume it's on the calories, um, average analysis, calories 110, um, carbohydrates 6.6 .6 grams, protein, um, I'm, I'm not a dietitian, so I don't know all that, all that lingo on there, but 110 calories per this, per 12 ounce, so let's see, per 12 ounce, Beer average analysis calories 110. So what do you do? You double, you double that because this is this is like two beers. So uh, I don't know. I'm not a mathematician either. <laughs> um, so uh, you all figure that out yourself. But um, either way, I imagine it's way lighter on the calories than a lot of a lot of beers are um i was just curious if this one's had had a calorie count on this one it doesn't so uh well there you go It's pretty good, really. I mean, for four light beer, and Budweiser's not really that cheap. Um, it's uh, <clears throat> it can be on the pricey side a lot of times. Um, it's probably the name brand thing is the reason, but uh, um, so yeah, it's okay. Um, I really enjoyed uh, reviewing the uh, the Budweiser the other the other day. Um, I hadn't had one in a long time, and remembering that it does have a lot of flavor to it um, was uh, was a nice uh, su surprise to remember or to find you know to remember how how it used to you know how it tastes. So, um, well, I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna go sit down and relax, and uh, I hope uh, um, I hope Ricardo. Hernandez is still one of my subscribers and still watching. I apologize. It took me a little bit to get to this, um, but I hope I did a good job for you. And uh, I will see you all on the next one. Y'all stay safe out there.